Morning guys. Remember when I told you if you want to do dumpsters and you're gonna get a trailer, you better have the skills to pay the bills. Yeah, well check this back. This is the third time this week. So you got a narrow road, not a lot of swing room, but you got a back in between this fence and all the way. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. See that pontoon right there past that? It's gonna go straight in, but because there's no swing room to make any, you know, turns, adjustments or anything, which is fine, it's normal stuff. But if you're gonna do this, make sure uh, you understand your trailer, how to back it, its limitations, practice, practice. Get a gooseneck, bumper pull is even harder because you can jackknife. I mean, you jackknife a gooseneck too, but it's much, much more difficult. And a gooseneck gives you more, um, more options in tight spots. Gotta learn how to alley dock um, and offset back. Probably two most important skills. Um, alley docking more so than, than offset backing, but offset backing happens quite a bit. Alley docking all the time, every day. So. Uh, be good at it understand how it works and again every rig is different so you're gonna have to figure it out and whatever rig you're you're running because um, I'm gonna have to alley dock this into this driveway and then all the way back down the road so let me get this going uh, don't stand next to the table yet. This one's not too heavy. I'll pull it, lock it uh, under the locks up there, and then we'll lower the rail all the way. The last thing is, is like I don't like hauling around grass and, and dirt, so I just try to get it out. Uh, All right, so we, we basically tarp it and uh, make sure all your bungees are intact. You wanna make sure that you've got a pin inside the pin that locks the, uh, the lever to open the gate. And you wanna make sure your chain is actually uh, uh, hinged so that if these two fail and this for some reason opens up, this chain's gonna catch the door. You're not gonna lose your load. Make sure your pins are intact. I do this every load, guys. So, tires are good. Um, I know that the oil level on the oil bath bearings are good because I check them in my pre-check before I go out. So, we're good to go. You know, I'm on this side of the truck and anytime that I'm on the opposite side, I'm looking at my tires, making sure you know, don't have any flats. And then as I pass, I'm looking at all my locks making sure my trailer's still properly locked up and attached. So, um, in the beginning, it's a lot to think about, uh, but as you go on, you know, if you make it habit, it's super easy to do. Um, and you're doing it, you know, sub basically subconsciously, you're looking. Every time you're on the right side of the passenger side of the truck, you're, you're automatically looking at your tires. You pass the bed you're looking at you know is my trailer still locked or the chains connected um, if you're doing um, a pickup and before you leave you're making sure your tires are good your oil uh, or lube is good inside the oil bath bearings um, you're making sure that your bungees are connected properly that your your tarp is you know tied around properly um, making sure that your pin that's in there properly uh, your pin's in the proper position, the locking lever is locked. Um, and like I said, at the beginning, it's a lot, right? But it, but if you do it every single day, like consciously and purposefully uh, do it, it's it just becomes second nature. Make sure you're doing it, guys. It's, it's worth it, and uh, it'll save you a lot of headaches. Let's go to the dump. I talked to this dude. <laughs> he runs 10 to 12 cans a day. 
Oh my god, I'm heavy, bro. Look at this shit. 26680. It's sanity. That's a heavy can, man. Let me get this real quick. 26680. Uh, CFL. Crap. I totally totally forgot to uh get the scale ticket but um 8720 was the weight uh it was it was pretty heavy it was at four almost four and a half tons this is a fun pickup <laughs> in my front wheel off the ground all the way across the road but i'm gonna set this here i got it in i can get it out that's for sure Look at load level only. And look at what this douche did. Good God. Well, it's gonna be really cheap to dump, I'll tell you that. Super cheap. Probably like 40 bucks. I like that part. But uh let's see if we can get this thing out of here. Light, light load, I love it. We got one more to pick up, it's in Tampa. Kind of the same situation except for you don't you don't have that. I know the hill doesn't seem that big, but it is for, for picking up weight. I'm glad this thing was light. Because if it was heavy, it wouldn't be uh <laughs> wouldn't be too good. Pull it on in so that wheel rolls nice and easy. And as I pull it up, I'm gonna I'm gonna raise the rail little by little basically. So I'm gonna keep the fulcrum point, you know, our centered basically by raising the rail. And what I look for is once that last roller starts rolling, see this last roller right here? I raise it so the can's just a little bit off and then I pull it in some more. And then I wait till the last two rollers roll again. And then I pull it up, push it up again. This helps with real heavy loads too. Uh, there's a million ways to do it. You just gotta know like, right now my fulcrum point on the trailer is still, you know, back here, right? But as I pull this can up and I raise the rail, it'll center more, uh, you know, as I, as I pull it on. You'll see here in a minute. If you look, there's no grass that's dredged, so everything stayed nice. No damaged grass. What this dude ended up doing was just selling the house instead of cleaning it out. I guess his whoever was living here like hoarded stuff, so he didn't want to clean it all out, so he just said, "Screw it, I'll sell it." And he sold it to an investor, I guess. We're good all the way down. I'm tarped. We're locked. Everything's good. Time to get out of here. Today's uh, music choice is the Black Pumas, Stevie Ray Vaughan. I like great guitar players. The blues and uh, classic rock. I listen to everything, but those are probably, right now, my favorites. We'll see how much we weigh. Ah, not too bad. 22, 220. Uh, CFL. Lots and lots of trash today. Man, look at that pile. <laughs> That's a nice uh, hook lift right there. All right, time to pull up. Oh, what's going on? Busting my, uh, gonna do some welds. Oh, let me show you. 
So I take this down, get some work done on it, get back. The uh, leaf spring broke off. So I got it to replace, but then when I go to put the U-bolt back on, of course that strips, so I can't get parts tonight. It's um, Friday night, uh, shoot, what time is it? <laughs> if you wanna work for yourself, man, say bye to the weekends for a while. Especially when you're starting out, later on you'll get your weekends back, but starting out, you know, you, you can say goodbye to your weekends. Uh, I don't know, probably seven o'clock. So there's no parts to get tonight, so I gotta wait till the morning. So I had the guys take one of my other trailers. Pretty, but it's gonna work. Got a couple scraps. Got it welded up. Right that bitch down, it's gonna paint it. And then it's gonna get me basically till next week until I can replace this hole. Uh, Cause this has gotta be cut off. And this needs to be replaced. But this will get me through uh, the weekend. So what I'm doing on my Friday night, guys, grinding. And this is the part that sucks cause this doesn't make you any money. It costs you money. It doesn't matter if you buy new trucks or old trucks. I mean, you, you still got maintenance and all that stuff on that, on the stuff, on the trucks and the trailers and welding and fuel and tires and blah, blah, blah. So, all right, I'm out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint that thing up, let it sit overnight, go get the parts in the morning and then put that thing back together.